Hello, everyone. It is Thursday. Good to be with you. Had a great time last night in the house of the Lord as we gathered together to pray. Thank you for those that were able to come and be with us. Uh, I won't mention all the prayer requests last night uh, since uh, since we did mention it, uh, you know, online and all that. But uh, we just ask that you continue to pray for Bethany. Still waiting on that baby and praying for just God's will to be done. And so uh, pray for her and uh, pray for uh, little Beckham that everything will be fine. Also, of course, continue to pray for Brother John. And I know he would appreciate it as well. Mike Copper in his surgery next week, actually. Uh, pray for him, open heart surgery. And I know he would appreciate it also. And there's and there's many more. And uh, But you know, today... I wanted to bring something to your attention anyway, and that is this. There was an article in the uh, uh, paper, uh, not in Indianapolis, but I believe in Franklin. I, I believe it's called the Daily Journal and uh, about Kara Thomas. And uh, it's just a uh, an article concerning uh, her, not only her cancer and all that she's been through, but it's also because of cancer awareness and so I just want to mention that so that you might maybe check it out. We'll try to have copies of that article and make them available to you on Sunday. But uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a wonderful article and boy, it just gives you a little bit more insight and understanding with what uh, she has been through. And boy, she has just been through a lot. And uh, in my opinion, it's just a, a miracle uh, for what God has done and to God be the glory. And, uh, and, and I'm all uh, with God's grace and how she's handled it. And it's just been, it was a very encouraging article. And I think it, I think you will find it to be the same for you. And so I, I would, I'd encourage you to look it up if you can. If not, like I said, we'll try to have some uh, articles uh, here at the church for you. Okay. All right. Well, let's get started with our devotion today. And um James chapter number four. As you know, I love the book of James, and and uh, but James chapter four and verse number seven, the Bible says it like this: Submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. You know, it's it's this it's it's this ideal of saying yes to God and saying no to the to the devil. You know, who are you going to say yes to, and who are you going to say no to? You know, Christians today, I want to encourage you and just remind you that without a doubt, may we uh, in our faith grow, that we might learn to say yes to the Lord, that we would submit our, our lives and, and say, Lord, yes, you are right. Lord, I'll do what you would have me to do, that we would agree with God, and that we would do what God would have. But then on the other hand, you know, and unfortunately, we're, we're going to have to say no. Some of us are not good at that, are we? We're really not. We we have trouble saying no. But in this case, it is so vitally important in our spiritual walk is to learn to say no. Learn to say no to the devil. Learn to say no to our flesh. Learn to say no to the things of this world. But say yes to God. So today, may you and I learn to say yes to the Lord. May the Lord bless you today as you walk with him. Truly, may the Lord bless your life. Let's pray. Father, thank you. Thank you, Father, for the opportunity that we have. And Lord, may we choose by your grace to say yes to you. But at the same time, Lord, help us to understand how important it is to say no to the things of this world and to the devil and Lord, to our flesh. Lord, I pray you'll bless our lives. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. May the Lord bless you today as you say yes to the Lord. Bye.